<laughs> What's up, comic fam, comic fans? And it's time to preview the comics coming out September 25th. All right, so we got spec books for this week, plus we got spec weeks from previous books, just books to look at. And then we got the spotlight books, we got the final order cutoff books for next week. All right, make sure you have those orders in by Monday the 30th. And then uh, we got the rest of the books coming out this week, and we're gonna do it all. Right after this! Spartans! What is your profession? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Alright, let's get into it. You know how we do. We start off with those spec books. First off, we got the Tin Can Society. Alright, this is the 1 in 10 cover. But let me show you the A cover. Here we go, the A cover. And this is definitely... A book that got my attention, all right? Johnny Moore is a world famous tech mogul known as much for his work pioneering mobility aids for people with disabilities like himself as he is for moonlighting as a metal suited vigilante, Caliburn. But when Johnny is found murdered and his suit stolen, his estranged childhood best friends reunite to solve the mystery of his murder. This just seemed like something that, um, I don't know, just it just resonated with me. I was like, whoa, and this could make for good TV or whatever, Netflix show, movie. So the Tin Can Society, number one. Alright. Next on the spec list is Ultimate Spider-Man number nine. The Sinister Six make their first strike. But who are the Sinister Six? Blah 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 blah. Anyway. Peter must also explore the limitations of his new suit. There's a new Spider-Man suit in this one. All right, so Ultimate Spider-Man number nine makes the list for that reason. All right, some other spec books I put up here. Wolverine number one. Come on, this book and a uh, most common raw. So less than a hundred bucks. Um, last sold raw. In something less than 9.8, $79 or 9.6, $150 bucks was the last sale on August 6th. Um, and then 9.8 are going for $251. Bucks. I mean, not, I, not astronomical prices here for this Wolverine number one. All right. Uh, next up, we got Super Something is Killing the Children, number one. This is the sixth printing. If you have this book, congratulations. Because uh, last recorded sale for 9.8 was 500 bucks. It is trending up, right? There's a Netflix show coming out. The raw prices are crazy here. It's just the book that if you have and you can separate with it, you know, you might want to. Um, just a crazy book to have let's check out the first printing and see where that's at you know as we get closer to the TV show you know if you have this book kudos to you and that's six hundred and thirty five dollars for the a cover it is trending down almost a whole percent but look at raws is selling for 392 dollars crazy all right those are just some spec books to look at if you have them in your collection congratulations let's get into some spotlight books first off we have master of the universe teenage mutant ninja turtles turtles of gray skull number one all right teenage mutant ninja turtles and he-man what a crossover i like this all right check it out if you dare no, i'm kidding tim seeley's one of the uh is the writer you got freddie williams on the art and here are your characters skeletor and he-man of course and then you got the turtles in there a couple covers really cool next up on the list we have batman the long halloween the last halloween number one a follow-up to the long halloween right in time for halloween all right, you got Jeff Loeb on here, in here, or whatever. Tim Sale's doing the cover. Should should be fun book. A little little reminiscing, right? All right, 
Last but not least, we have Violator Origins number one. I actually saw this in the shop last week, so I don't know if it was supposed to be out this week or if last week was actually the release and some people are listing this week as the release. I don't know. But anyway, you have the Violator's origin story. So if you are a Spawn fan and you know enjoying the Spawn universe, this may be a book for you to check out. All right, these are FOC books. These FOC books are for this week all right these aren't the ones that i normally do where i say these came out but it's too late to order them no you can still order these because these orders are due september 30th first up off the bat we got absolute wonder woman number one all right there's that whole absolute universe batman's coming out here's another one this may be dc's answer you know to the ultimate universe the absolute universe all right if you're a wonder woman fan you got that this is some uh, nightmare fuel here this is dc hard presents number one this is cover c by dave johnson here you have batman and it looks like death or some deathly figure is peeling back his suit to reveal bones and bats all right that alone is horrifying and then from dark horse we have fml all right um <laughs> uh his uh this is a genre busting apocalyptic odyssey about a group of metal kids who face the medley of bizarre foes and encounters in portland oregon during a worldwide pandemic all right it just sounds pretty cool to me there's a whole lot more here as you see in the description go ahead check it out you can pause the video right here if you need to to see what else it says but this just looks like a really cool book and that's why it's on the list all right let's check out the rest of the books coming out this week let's go we're still going to start off with image comics you got creep show volume three with issue number one right there's gonna be a lot of horror books around this time all right we're in late september going into october you have halloween coming up so just expect for there to be a lot of these books out uh feral number six all right we got geiger number two and number three with second printings in case you missed it we got the manchurian this is a horizon experiment by image uh, the manchurian uh described as like a i believe it's like an asian james bond all right maybe it's like a what if what if you know james bond was asian um kaya we have knights versus samurai there is a cover c which is the todd mcfarlane cover if you're a todd mcfarlane cover uh cover <laughs> if you're a todd mcfarlane fan here you go there's a chance for you to pick that up the moon is following us cover b will be coming out cover a came out last week so that's interesting how they're uh staggering the covers very interesting um power fantasy number one gets a third printing plastic death and dolls is on the penultimate issue with issue four or five pure evil it's on issue number six of six so that'll be coming to an end red coat number one gets a fourth printing remote space is on his final issue with issue number four all right exodus rook exodus which is a really good story gets a third printing of issues number two and three sagas on issue number 69 spawn kills everybody or every spawn is on issue number three rat city is on issue number six you know some of these books i do feel like already came out i sorry i had to scroll to the top to make sure i was on the right week um what else do we have the violator book frankenstein is on issue number two of four violet flowers is on issue number one maria levette and now we're off to boom here comes the boom ready or not what do we got from boom 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 hello darkness number three little anthology book there 
believe there is a story uh something is coming the children's story in there there's a jenny frizzen cover if you're a jenny frizzen fan you got some mighty morphin power rangers usagi yojimbo and uh we're gonna keep moving we're at titan comics now whoa just tried to skip titan sorry about that <laughs> what do you have coming out of titan there's conan the barbarian people have really been into that uh blade runner tokyo for you blade runner fans doctor who the 15th doctor is on issue number three of four all right and uh we're off to the next there is a star trek explorer magazine too by the way if you're a star trek fan there's some uh dark horse comics mass effect and rebel moon figures I don't know why they're in the comic section, but that's all good. DC Comics. All right. Um, Absolute Power Origins coming to an end, as Absolute Power is pretty much coming to an end. You got Task Force, issue number seven of seven as well. Um, what else? Action Comics is on issue number 1069. Not crossing over into Absolute Power, but deciding to tell like old Superman stories right uh, buh, 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 buh. <laughs> where are we what else do we got oh batman dark ages is on the last issue there's a, there is a bill sinkavage cover if you're a bill sinkavage fan um batman long halloween last halloween is also out. a couple of covers there right right lots of batman actually you got batman brave and the bold you got detective comics all right there is some flash some green arrow what else harley quinn on issue number 43 lobo cancellation special this is a one shot they have a poly bag um version of it looks like you know it's gonna be a little raunchy up in there power girl is on issue number 13 titans issue number 15 you got zaytana with the penultimate issue of issue number four or five and then we're off to marvel comics what do we have coming out of marvel amazing spider-man number 58 a lot of covers for that there always seem to be a lot of asm covers avengers annual number one there is a marvel studios thanos cover if you like those kind of covers let's see daredevil woman without fears on the penultimate issue issue three of four what else this is deadpool comic if you like deadpool deadpool team up and nyx is on issue number three if you enjoy that moon knight phase of the moon knight number two introduces a new moon knight um from the future let me just add that all right and there is a design variant cover there predator versus black panther is out those are interesting stories. You know, if you ever wondered how a Predator or even Alien would do against a Marvel superhero, now Marvel has the means to tell that. We have Ultimate Spider-Man number nine, all right? We talked about Spider-Man having a new suit in that that series. So you have that. You got a bunch of Venom War stuff. I haven't really kept up with the Venom War. Uh, Wolverine Revenge is on issue number two, two of five, okay and there is definitely a revenge red band poly bagged version x-force is on issue number three you know if you're an x-men fan and then x-men number two has a second printing by ryan stegman now we're off to dynamite what do we have coming out of dynamite you got army of darkness forever issue number 12 there's hercules on issue number five johnny quest that's an issue number two cover v limited for 50 bucks damn lilo and stitch is on issue number five red sonia is on issue number 14 
again we're a dynamite thundercats number eight introduces a new thundercat to the fold first appearance in there and now we're gonna look at the rest of the comics coming out this week from all the other publishers Anansi Boys is on issue number four. You got Archie Jumbo Comics. I know there's a lot of Archie fans out there. As we scroll along, guys, you could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. I stole that from Jay Z. You got Black, White, and Bloodshot, number one. All right? Those theme books where it's three colors or two shades in a color, All right? Black and white. And then boom, they throw in some red. What else do we have? If I miss any books too, feel free to throw it in the comment section. Let me know what I missed. There's some Dick Tracy if you're a Dick Tracy fan. Final Fight number two. Right, the video game action. Florida Man is on issue number three. Got some grim fairy tale books in there out of Xenoscope. Xenoscope is always in New York Comic Con. Let's see. Again, I'm, I'm just quickly looking through these books, but if you see anything that I missed, throw it in the comments. Let me know. There is a Lady Death, Demonic Omens, number one of two. All right, Lady Death usually appears on the previews site. Just pumping out Lady Death books. Lilith, number one, black bag. What else do we have? Magic Order, number one. This is the fifth volume. I've only read like the first two, but. Magic Order has been, uh, it's a really good, it's a fun book by Mark Millar. Mass of the Universe TMNT, Turtles of Skull. Nice little crossover there. Right. And we're in the M's now, so you obviously have My Little Pony for you pony fans. But we're getting there, guys. Getting there. Thank you for staying if you've been here this long. Nightclub 2 is on issue number 2. We are making our way towards the end. Yes, yes, we are. A lot of comics coming out. Rick and Morty, Rick or Treat Halloween Special, issue number one. Another Halloween special. There will be a ton of them coming out this season. Uh, Sherlock Holmes, Dark Detective, number one. Out of IPI Comics, so Sherlock Holmes story for those of you who are into Sherlock Holmes. I don't know what else I would say. A Sherlock Holmes story for those of you who are into ice cream sodas. I don't know. <laughs> There's Star Trek fan, uh, books for you Star Trek fans. Survival Street. I believe this is the second volume of this. You know, where these Muppets are um, hardcore. Uh, Radical Left number one. What else do we have? Veronica gets a reprint. Of number 28 with a facsimile edition apparently that, that book the original one just kind of um, got really popular on the internet for some reason so it's on the secondary market and guys that is it we are at the end those were the books coming out this week so do what you do i'm gonna do what i do i'm getting ready for this week's books if you like the content don't forget to like subscribe hit the notification bell go ahead and throw me a thumbs up and comment down below deuces peace Alright, so Gotham by Gat yeah. <laughs> uh, best Man number one. I actually got that last week. Or Man's Best, not Best Man. Man's Best number one, so I'm not sure why that is loaded up here. Oh, you know why? Because we're on the wrong week.